Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I have something that might look somewhat familiar. <laughs> and for those of you who've seen my Christmas fail video back in December, you might recognize this tool. So when Saner Direct reached out to me and said, would you try some of our diamond painting tools? I said, absolutely. I need to see what's the latest and greatest tools. I'd love to try some of your items. And when they sent me this one, I had to laugh because I thought, you guys must not have seen that video where I struggled to find that poor little desktop vacuums battery compartment. <laughs> I've never come so close to using ex really explicit language in a video before <laughs> until that video. But the beauty of this guy was the first thing I noticed and I was like, yes, they might have seen it. And they were like, we're going to prevent that problem from happening again. We're going to send her a desktop vacuum with a charging interface. <laughs> so yes, you heard me correctly. From what I am gathering from just looking at the box, because I haven't opened them yet, this one does not require batteries. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's take a look at this fella. And he looks like a frog to me. I don't know what he is, but he is so stinking cute. And I'm like, yes, because now I have one of these to go on my desk and then one to go on my workstation. So it's absolutely perfect to have two of these. So before I take him out of his box, I want to read the features of this because it's got some different things than I saw last time with the one that I had before. This one says it has three stoplights a 360 degree upward wind force, which means it's got some power to it. It has a charging interface, woohoo! strong cleaning, and it's portable. And he's just super doggone cute. I mean, like he's really cute. Let's look at the back real quick. I want to see if there's anything I need to read. I don't think there is. Of course, you know, um, if there's, <laughs> if there is something I need to read, I'll probably overlook it because that's what happened last time. All right, so let me get him opened up. I'd already opened him just to try to pull this flap out and it was a it was a mess. I couldn't get him back closed again, but I didn't take him out yet. But look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh. I will not be trying to disassemble this fellow. <laughs> I don't think it is necessary. Oh, he's winking at us. He's winking at us. All right, hang on. We're going to open this up. Now on the bottom, you're going to see, don't dispose of your box before you pull out the things that are on the bottom. So I'm getting all this stuff out of here. Oh, we have a tray. Now this is a little baby mini white tray. I love it with the funnel. It's tiny. Why is it every time I say tiny, I have to do it in this little tiny voice? Like, it's tiny. Like, what is that? I don't know. But anyway, y'all know me. I have all these random voices all the time. I, I don't know. Let's see what we have. We have a little brush that's going to clean out underneath him. All right, I'm going to try to open him up. Uh, by the way, it says, do not put your finger in here. Okay, that's not a smart thing. See this little X? No fingers. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there's an arrow? Pull down. Okay. <laughs> All right, Melanie. <laughs> So basically, this is just for when you need to clean out. If you, were, if you were using this to pick up eraser dust and stuff and you need to get it out of there, that's what this is for. Or if you have that staticky stuff and it's not letting your drills come out, this will help you get them to where they need to be to dump them out. So keep up with that. That's a little handy tool. All right. So to close this back up, we're just going to stick it together there. Oop. I say it as if there is a little tab here that's going to connect to that tab there. I'm going to put it in place and then I'm going to push this button and snap him back into place. There is no rotating or any of that, okay? But you'll see the arrow there. I just had to push it down and pull it down and that was it. Now we have our charging cord. Now I haven't turned him on to see if he's got any charge in him at all. If he does not, then I will go charge him for a little bit so we can spill some drills and pick them up. Okay. But let's just see. I'm glad they gave us a charging cord. This is going to plug into a USB connector right here in the back. 
going to slip this in. We're going to plug it in to our, our USB port and charge him up, okay? Now, it says here there's a light, so he is not charged, but I'm going to charge him and we're going to be back. The only reason I didn't charge him first is I wanted to go through and open him up with you guys, do a little demonstration on his parts, and then I'll charge him and then we'll come back and talk about his features. Now, one thing I thought was really cute, so I've charged him up and he's ready to go. Um, there is a power button right here. There's an X and a check mark here. So you're just gonna slide that little gray switch into the check mark position and he is on. Right here, there is a light setting and it's gonna give you three different options for lighting. So I'm gonna turn off my lights. Now the camera readjusts automatically for lighting, but this should show us the lighting for our little guy here. To me, this is just really cute for like a night light or something. I'm not real sure for the purpose in the lighting, but I love him. So I just think whatever the purpose is, I love it. Um, maybe the lighting is good for if you are in a an area that needs more lighting for picking up the drills, making sure you can see where they've gone. Like I drop them on the floor, you know, around the area of wherever I'm sitting. And so that might be a nice little tool for picking up those things. But let's just look at what we have. The first light is more of like a bright light, like a daylight version of a light. The next one's more of a warm light. And then we have more of a just soft light. So I just think it's so stinking cute. Now let's talk about what we need to do to actually use him if we spill some drills. Okay, so my grandson's still working on his little uh, project, his diamond painting project, but I have his drills pretty close. So I'm going to spill some of his drills, which happened, you know, quite a few times. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We spilled several of his, or he spilled several of his drills. Um, and over here is going, this is going to be the button on the opposite side of the light here. Um, that's gonna turn on the vacuum itself. And it's just an on and off. So I'm gonna place my vacuum down. We're just gonna run over our drills. And they are gone. Oop, in this one, they're gone. Okay, so let's turn it off. And then to empty this out, I'm going to push that little arrow again that I did earlier slide it down they're all inside I can pour it back in my container but normally you know we have a smaller compartment to put it in so I can put it back in my tray or you normally clean up your messes but anyway so that's that's all there is to it and I think I just spilled one because you know how I do but anyway that is how you use your little mini vacuum but how much do we love the fact that this is rechargeable yay I cannot mention that enough <laughs> And this could save me on putting quarters in a jar. I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna lie about it. <laughs> All right, well, you guys, let me know what you think of this little guy. I'm sure there are other designs available at Sainter Direct on Amazon. Be sure to go check them out. They have some really cool, amazing diamond painting tools that you're gonna wanna see. So be sure to go visit. I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the bottom for you so you can go see what they have to offer. That is it for today. Thank you as always for joining me and I will see you back soon.